Captain Balliet was quite accomplished in several departments, but his friends say he was most proud of his wife and children. Certainly was. And News Channel 15's Alyssa Ivinson sat down with some of his friends and has a look at his life and legacy. He was just somebody you could call, and he was always there for you. One of the greatest guys that anybody ever knew. You didn't know anybody that didn't know Eric, and then on top of that, you didn't know anybody that didn't like Eric. Eric Balliet, the son of a sheriff's deputy and nephew of firefighters, started his life as a first responder young, getting his EMS license when he was 17. And his lineup of badges grew quickly. A volunteer firefighter with Washington Township before joining the Fort Wayne Fire Department in 1998, where he was now a captain and would have been promoted to battalion chief. There was quite a bit of debris in the basement, which made just accessing the fire very difficult. He was also a captain with the Allen County Sheriff's Department Reserves, a deputy coroner, burn camp counselor, a school resource officer. He was even ordained. I was very proud of him. Being a friend of his, I was proud for him. But it, it's also something that made you think, if he can do it, so can I. And he was always there to help give you the right information, tell you the right things so that you could prepare yourself for the same thing. All the people's lives he touched just going to their homes as a fireman, as a policeman, as a medic, all the lives he saved. You know, I mean, there's countless numbers of stories that you could tell about scenes that he's been on, things that he's done that he's put his life in jeopardy many, many times just with our department. While Balliet wore many hats, the job he loved most was being a husband and father. His twin son and daughter will turn nine years old next month. We watched them evolve from dating to marriage to children to all in with the kids. Weekends, afternoons, evenings, sports, school, you know, they were involved. But I spent many hours with him outside the job and it was all about his kids. I mean, there was world. At six foot four inches tall, Balliet was a mountain of a man with an even bigger heart. Teddy bear. He was uh, the biggest softy I knew. A big teddy bear. People knew they could always count on him for an encouraging hug. Two weeks ago, coming into my office and standing there, we're talking and put his arm around me and I haven't seen you in a while or, you know, he was just always that, that happy guy. And a smile that could light up a room. His personality was bigger than life. I can't think of a time that, that I was in a room with Eric for longer than 10 minutes where there wasn't a round of laughter brought on by Eric or something that he said. He was very, very quick-witted. Him and I both have very um, loud cackles, if you will, and my laugh will make somebody else laugh. Well, Eric's laugh made me laugh, and uh, I will miss that. His passionate compassion is what many will miss most whether on duty or not. Eric would stop in his personal vehicle to help somebody. Balliot was a selfless public servant. He was always there to help you, always giving you a big hug. Who leaves behind a legacy of laughs and love. A genuine, loyal friend. Always saw the good in people. A great husband, a great father, one of the nicest men you'd ever want to meet. Eric's friends all said the glass was always half full with Eric, and they hope people remember his positive spirit. Captain Balliet was 41 years old. In Studio 15, Ellis Ivinson, News Channel 15. Captain Balliet's funeral is tomorrow. The service is at 11 inside First Assembly of God. Balliet will then be laid to rest at Huntertown Cemetery. We'll have full coverage of the funeral and the procession. You can find the funeral procession route on Wayne.com.